us at the bar, please. Welcome to Tavern Tales, a curated 5e Dungeons & Dragons adventure set in the tales of the Yawning Portal campaign module by Wizards of the Coast. Previously on Tavern Tales, Maryland is down and things are looking dire for the party as most have been grappled by lashing tendrils and Maryland all but swallowed. Come sit down and drink with the enemy, raise a glass and toast to the enemy and I'm not gonna do this on my own. Trey was named Zeal Oanan. Zeal Owen? Zeal Onan. <laughs> Zeal Onan. Zeal Owen on. Please keep all of that. Zeal Owen on. <laughs> what the? Zeal Owen. Look, it was a tree, all right? <laughs> Left alone and unfettered, untended. I wrote this down really bad, folks. Left alone and untended for hundreds of years. Years? <laughs> it turned to nourishing itself the only way it could. Worshipped long ago as the hairy mother goddess of corn. <laughs> That's right. Must have been hairy. It wasn't no more. Alone in the dark <laughs> in a thick pool of oil. Now some tell us who have better accents than me say that when Maryland finally brought it low, a whisper on the breeze could be heard saying, thank you in Ulma. And that might be why Maryland then said, you're welcome, I guess. There we go. That was easily teed up. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> what do you normally say? What's up? With this? Thank you. And now let us peek into the adventure itself as the party gasps and holds <gasps> strained sides and adjusts oh. breast bindings from digging into their ribs and tries to figure out how to move onward. Man, that the intro was an adventure in itself. <laughs> yep. Next time on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's Never good. write them ahead of time again. That was brilliant. That was so I good. loved it. You went all over the globe with your accents there. <laughs> it was all right then. Uh, <laughs> Crikey, mate. That was good. Uh, that was beautiful. My face hurts. Good. Mine does too. Marie Claire's like, can we just... <laughs> I don't care about any of this. That was so good. There you are. The tree is dead at your feet. A whole bunch of riches and stuff inside it. I'm going to dig through the tree. Uh, Okay. Yeah. You're really hurt. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I want riches. <laughs> Sounds right. Twelve pieces of blue jasper can be found, and there is a silvery rod within. Ooh, silvery rod. Is it a shiny special silver rod? Silvery rod flares on one end. Tip there's a little hole in the that flared end. It's pretty girthy. It's about fourteen inches long. Silver. Can you just say wide in the future? What? What's wrong with girthy? I, I don't like the word girthy. <laughs> if you're getting too girthy, do some moist squats. Whoa. Moist doesn't bother me, but girth, like that's, yeah, no. What does a moist squat even look like? Don't ask. Let's not get back into this. <laughs> yep. So there we are. Can I pull some kin- kindling off the tree? You can chop at the tree. Yep. Yeah, you chop at it with one of your hand axes, or yep. what do you have? Yep, I have a hand axe. Cool. I'm just gonna you sure you didn't lose the hand axe, or did you lose one of the two? I don't remember. Anymore. I lost nothing, sir. <laughs> I used to lose hand axes all the time as fog. It's true, you did. Yeah, I don't know that Alabama has lost. I thought any. Alabama had, but it's fine. That's. I think you're thinking Fogram. I. That's a him thing. Ha- did you not throw a hand axe at the slug man, the giant slug? If I threw something, I would have picked it up. Right. If you could have found it, though, because it was there was a big pool. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You've got at least one. Chop up some kindling. Yay! And I put it in my bag. Cool. Yeah. Fire, 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 fire. Mm-hmm. The white wood of Zeal, Zeal Oanon. That one. <laughs> <laughs>
Big Z. <laughs> the white polyp. Everyone's looking at me. Oh, Maybe does someone want to be healed? Sorry. Does any nope. <laughs> does anybody want some healing hands touched in your body? I'm unconscious, so I can't tell you, but yes, please. Or are you still dying? I'm dying. Oh, oh. Make a death and then we get <laughs> another death I'll save. Spare the I've dying only you. I haven't done one yet. I have to do one first, I Gotta, think. Uh, right? Sure. Gotta hide your death save. Oh yeah, sorry. Oh, uh, uh, well. Roll it again so we all don't know, and then you'll be saved. It doesn't really matter. What are, what are you doing? You can't roll it on my... She's rolling it on the baby. Ooh. I like how your vagina is a flat playing surface <laughs> for which to roll a die upon. Shush! I th- I'm I sorry. Think all of us use it for that, don't we? <laughs> yeah, what do you use your vagina for? Oh, so good. Yeah, You don't know what I rolled. I can spare the dying you. Thanks. I do spare it. the dying you. All right, do it. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever actually done it before. Well, now we're gonna find out what yeah. it looks like. Uh, I'm excited. Saves themselves. I wasted my potion. We better be able to have a, sh- a long rest after this. I swear to Jesus. Remember, you didn't waste the potion because he used the potion, got up, killed the thing. All right, not a waste. Yeah. So. Who do I have? I have Zotzi, and I have Kinnisha. But you don't really have Zotzi. It seems more and more like you're talking to Yeah, that, I remember that from last more. time. And yourself, which is weird. But anyway. Yeah, I like to look Let's within. All power comes from within, inevitably. Usually the vagina. But he doesn't have one. So See, you're Kegels. Uh, guys can do Kegels, too. <laughs> that's the thing. Uh, Kittich, I'm going to talk to you because I think you're the one that's been listening. And I feel like I felt that energy during that fight. And you helped me out a good sum. I would like to assist my comrade here and ensure that they come back to us in the living. If you could please shine your bright light upon their unmoving body, that would be greatly appreciated. Amen. Cool. Yep. What happens? A bright light ascends from above. I don't know where from. You can't actually really tell where the light starts. It's just kind of there. And it starts to descend down upon Penny. And it soaks into her body and is absorbed cool you have a hit point yay i really like that color uh zero current now she, oh, okay she has a hit point oh. i like that color so much sweet boom hit point I normally spare the dying just brings you back to stable condition but this time a single hit point awesome oh, dang oh i feel so warm there you go i like it you've yeah. been filled with light Ooh. I like it. I still don't feel very good, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any spells or I would totally heal you. I can't heal myself. It's a problem. You keep looking at me. I am a... Uh, Do you have spells? You got a rod. I've got a rod. Yeah. Can I figure out what this rod does? Oh, if only there were the way to How check what do that? it does. <laughs> I am going to uh, talk to Penny about oh, this <laughs> rod. <laughs> okay. Hey, Penny, can you detect magic on this rod thing? Yeah, they can't. I'm all out of those. I'm all out of those juices. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really low on juice. I go, I'm not feeling very good still. I'm going to start playing with the rod and figuring out what it does. All right. Trying to find a button or... Make an arcana whipping. check. Oh. That's what I meant, but yeah. <laughs> can I help? Is that a thing oh. that I can do? 11. It's probably magical. Something comes out of the flared end with a little hole in it. I'm going <laughs> to... Yeah. <laughs> 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 you just see Mary Lynn, like waving the stick around, looking like down the hole, trying to see if she can see anything at which we all know is usually a bad idea. You don't Correct. do that. Yeah. She keeps doing it anyways. Okay. And she yeah, whips it around. Cool. I forgot about this, but I have an extra scroll of Detect Magic mm-hmm. and I'm gonna give it to MJ. Be like, I think you need this more than me. MJ can't read it. I can't read Arcana. She doesn't have any knowledge or ability to, you know, use scrolls and the like. I just put it back like anthropologists. I mean, you could use it. Yeah. (laughs) But I also have it because it's only a first level. So I'm going to. We already know it's magic, though. She figured that out. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Can you detect Arcana? Arcana is magic. It's you've detected. It's magic. (laughs) Congratulations. You found out it's magic. (laughs) <laughs> uh, what kind of magic what does it do it de- like that's not what detect magic does <laughs> oh <laughs> it just tells you yeah it's magic or no not magic it tells you what kind of magic does it yeah mine just says the presence of magic Ooh, there's magic here right yeah but that's because that's what you wrote down oh wow. <laughs> so we'll, we'll continue on what's what's florida man up to florida man is <laughs> Feeling very useless, actually, because she's out of, all out of juice. So probably just like, like if, if there was an off switch for Florida Man that just sits down 
and like <laughs> chills like that. Sounds like the Skype ending call sound. Yeah, yeah. that's a good sound for like <laughs> turning things off. It is a good sound. Thank you. Came in the doors that were to the west, went down a flight of stairs into a big pool of oil, which the tree, the polyp, looked dead in. There's another flight of stairs that lead up to another set of double doors to the east. I'm going to guess Florida man is sitting on the stairs, head in hands, breathing heavy. Texas walkers off to one side, waxing his bow. <laughs> and Maryland is over on one of the edges, waving a silver stick, starting to say words while waving it, maybe thinking it does stuff and doing different waves, saying things like, Nacrafta, which is old man for light a bitch up. <laughs> When he swears in Olman. And then saying things like Nazareti. Which is old man for what? <laughs> You're gonna have to come with a translation. <laughs> um it means make it wet. Okay, you, you should be writing things down because you're gonna want those later. I don't doubt. <laughs> what did I say? Nez- What's Nez- Alabama Nez- up to? He's he's <laughs> Alabama's cutting the tree up yep. and giggling to himself. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I think he's giggling to himself because he can hear what she's saying over there. Yeah, of course. And I think also <laughs> Alabama reaches into his his backpack or his pouch and he's like. Where's my hand axe? And he pulls out his hand axe. He's like, I didn't lose no hand axe. I had that all along. (laughs) And Penny's laying there in the oil. Oh, yeah. Because by the tree. Finally picks herself up, covered in slimy, icky oil. Make your way over to sit next to Florida Man. And what do you do? Tex, what do you say? I reckon this is a good spot for us to all take a long rest. Yes, please. It's going to be a really long rest. Like we're going to die? No, it's just that, remember, <laughs> you took a long rest, then you fought the Oni, then you were like, oh, and you limped around the corner to the next room, and you're like, okay, and then you went down the corridor and fought this tree. So it's only been like half an hour since your last long rest. It's Not just long been rest, such we only a, had a short rest, because we didn't have any since spells. Since your last long rest. Since the long rest, it hasn't been that yeah. long. Yeah, so your long rest was just before you fought the Oni. So the... Ogre, the mage? doppelganger yeah. guy. Just before that, you fought that, fought this, and now you're completely depleted. Does anybody have any spells left? Do you have a couple. I've, I've like three level ones left, but I don't think my healing spells can heal myself. <clears throat> cool. I'm gonna make a fire. Okay. Then there's that lovely pool of oil. Yep. I'm gonna firebolt it to make a fire. Um, we're all okay. sitting by. Yeah, that's explosive. <laughs> Is it? So make a survival check to see whether or not you realize that oh. before you cast a fireball in a tree. you kill me again. <laughs> yeah, which is why I hauled you all into the oil and guck and muck so quickly. Anyway, go ahead. Make a, a survival check to determine whether or not you Shit, realize guys, that I don't that's have survival. good or bad. Do you have a blue gem? Nope. <laughs> and I have a plus zero to it, so it's whatever I roll. Ten. Son of a bitch. That's enough to know okay, that don't what do you're that. about to do is going to cause a raging inferno and hurt everyone. <laughs> Especially. Why? Because I'm covered in oil. You are all covered in oil. Oh, I thought I was extra yeah. covered in oil. Sure. You're extra covered in oil. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Take a hit point damage. No. Just no! <laughs> I'm, I'm down again. Oil seeps into your veins. No. Cool. Well, it seems like everybody really wants a really long rest. So you're going to spend the next 16 hours or so in this area. You know, I mean, you don't think anybody else is around. You hope. What do you do to make sure that nothing comes upon your rest while you're resting? I am going to go up to those double doors and I am going to place a bunch of clay pots and gems and things that I could pull out of the rope or anything that I could find that was in the belly of it and stack it up precariously. So that way, if anybody was to open the door, it would all fall down and make like an alarm and be very loud. Smart. Sounds great. You do so. And then you spend the next 16 hours and everybody turns over a ration. Gave you my cupcake. I don't have rations. You don't have any rations? I don't have any rations. Oh. I'm starving. Starving Marvin. Here you go. You give it to him. But then I'm giving it to you to oh, give to him. It happened Just... and there. <laughs> <laughs> it happened. You're much closer to Kyle than what me. What <laughs> did everybody eat for rations? I had broccoli. Oh, that's a good that's a good ration. I had this weird tart cake thing. Or whatever that yellow thing was. That is a cookie. Oh, I had a cookie. <laughs> yeah. What did you have, Aaron? I had a double stacked cookie with white stuff in the middle. Oh. Like an Oreo type cookie. It looks like but it's a... orange. A orange flavored Oreo. What did you have, Paige? 
It had a cinnamon bun. Was it good? No. What was wrong with it? <laughs> it was a cinnamon bun. And what did Penny have? I didn't see it. It was some sort of yellow thing. Oh, then I had the cupcake. Well, one of you had a cupcake with what looks like cranberries on top. That's oh, you cool. had a cupcake. I had the cupcake. You there said you cupcake. There we go. I'm Thank looking you for forward that. to my next one. It's a hot dog. Oh, I'll trade you rations. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it's pigs and blanket. Oh, yummy. <sighs> I just want a hot dog now. 16 hours go by and bad things happen. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. But not to any of you. Yay! But who does it happen to? <laughs> Where we're going next? Sorry, Arizona. <gasps> so. <laughs> Paige's death stare is amazing. I know. Arizona's not real. That's a game we're playing. During the 16 hours, can I make some more arrows with my paints? <laughs> sure. <clears throat> roll the dice. What would I roll for the paints? You tell me. What are you rolling to paint nice straight lines? You have Dexterity, to roll time. probably. The edge of a wall. I'm going to say you can add your dexterity bonus and your proficiency bonus nice. to this roll. You've gotten good enough at this over time, and you do not need to roll too high, but you're only going to roll one time, and the number that you get will incur the difficulty. Just going to roll straight? Yeah, I'll just roll right. straight. Get it. <laughs> no. no. Well done. What is the total? Nine. Well, if the five is all you needed to get a couple of arrows, so you may have four arrows okay you have used up another 16 cubic feet (laughs) nice of your paints most of these are ruined scraps of wibbly wobbly lines which maryland uses to reinforce the doors to block the way forward i don't know what you're trying to paint it looks like shit but it works for this kyle can i get four arrows you may have four arrows hooray are you getting low how many arrows do you have left I have 10 total with the four. Woo-hoo. Good idea. Getting low. I don't even think I took any arrows away from you last game when you shot arrows into the creature. You did not. Wow. Huh. It's kind of abusive. How many arrows did you shoot? Yeah, it was just a wooden creature. You can have all those arrows back. Okay. Nice. Because <laughs> you never gave them to me in the first place. No. <laughs> well, folks, time has passed. None of your characters know this, but you're giant hermit crab friend is dead what <gasps> the locus what who who done did it what who done did it we're not there don't i know. know but he's telling things as we don't know already i want to know <laughs> that's so sad yeah. it was the vampire <gasps> is he out how do you get out What'd you do? We might have to fight him eventually, guys. Who are you talking at? <laughs> <laughs> Myself. I, I know. It's weird. Like, And you kept looking to the people around you to give you answers. Yeah, because one of them did it while we were sleeping. What, one of the players? Yeah. Crept back to the very beginning of the adventure. Yeah, pass all the clay pots. Not at all. Do we all get right. all of our spell slots back? Get all your half? spell slots back, oh, yeah. but you only get half your hit dice back. You are all full up on hit points. I didn't take any damage. <laughs> yep. I wonder why that is. Oh, right. They were afraid of me. Exactly. Oh, good decision. <laughs> also, what's your armor class? 17. And when you have a shield? I Well, I don't have one. Oh, you don't have a shield? I thought, no. you, had a, I thought you had a shield. Oh, I do have a shield. Oh, well, there you go. So it's, I think it's, uh, yeah. It, it's 17 with the shield, I think. Yeah. Oh. I thought it was 19 because he had a shield as well, but okay. And what's your armor class? 15. And what's your armor class? 16. And what's your armor class? 16. What's your armor class? 16. This is why I attack you all the time. Damn it. Guys. Because you have a better IC. And you just keep charging into combat. Leroy. <laughs> and, and anytime you don't think to charge games. into combat, I use some sort of like whip thing to pull you in. <laughs> it's freaking annoying. Yeah, try not to be made hey, out of air. You think it's annoying? <laughs> I haven't killed you yet. <laughs> you got pretty close a couple times I have tried for like 20 game yeah. sessions anyway <laughs> I mean that's too bad please don't kill me the doors double doors to the west open on an immediate corridor that goes to your right you turn to the right it's 30 40 feet long and it has a single door five foot wide that is closed and describe the strangeness of this door there Allison it's like a green color. So mm. it's almost like it is made of metal, but it's like 
um, oxidized. Yeah, so like nickel, right? Yep. Gets that gross green color. Copper, yeah. Yeah, and oh yeah, I guess it would be copper. Goes anyways. So it's that gross kind of moldy, I oxidized green color, and there's like inlays of like serpents. Yeah, in it. you can't really tell them anymore because of all that oxidization. Yeah, cool. I love it. Yeah, it looks just like squiggly lines at this point. What's the door handle like, Paige? It is a rusty metal. Uh, you can't actually tell what kind of metal it is because it's so rusty. Mm, okay. And it has very intricate loops on it. Cool. Texas, roll a uh, perception check. 25. It's a nat 20. Woohoo! You always got to tell when you roll a nat 20. That way everybody can cheer and be excited. Yay! Yay. It doesn't happen very often, especially for you. <laughs> so. Or me. <laughs> That's true. You. Feel under that door a breeze tickle your toesies. It cuts through my leather boots. Sure. As much. Yeah. Ooh. A strong thing. breeze. It's not very strong. <laughs> you just feel a breeze. Am I also wearing a white dress and standing <laughs> over a grate? <laughs> yes, you are Bluebeard's bride, and it is time to go back to your Bluebeard's bedchamber for your nuptial night. Ew. Deuces. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. It's not a good thing to be Bluebeard's Bride. I, and I get that. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great role playing game, too, but it's a horror game where you're all wondering which one of you is Bluebeard's Bride because you're going to die. It's fun. I don't like pirate games. It's not a pirate game, it's a horror game. Continue on, okay. Texas. Sure is windy under this here door. I wonder what it could be from. Probably air. It's usually where wind comes from. <laughs> I am a scientist, you know. How did you graduate? Do we have anything that can, like, Look ahead through the door. Periscope. Yeah. Eyes? I have eyes. A mirror? <laughs> Ooh, something shiny. MJ, don't you have a shiny thing? Yeah, I always have shiny shit. But specifically, you picked up a shiny thing recently, I saw. I picked up a silvery rod. Yeah. Is that With a flat end. Oh, I could use the flat end. It's a flared end. Oh, it's a flared end. That's the opposite of flat. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Just so you know, it looks like this. Oh, yeah. Why does it look like a penis? I, okay. <laughs> sure. That's, what, that's, that's exactly you what you that. drew. <laughs> It could be I a mean, spade. It's it's just got a flared end. <laughs> no, be a child drew a penis. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there are no balls attached to this, so it is not. It is just a rod with a flared end. It's, oh, that's what you're. It's holding. a shovel. It's a shovel. <laughs> it's a spade. A hole in its tip. It's a phallic <laughs> stick. <laughs> you're not healthy. What do you mean? It's I've already described that before. I've already said that I many know, times. Yeah, you did not a... catch on until I drew no. it. I caught on, but I was thinking that I was like, there's no way that there could be a dildo inside of a ro <laughs> roper. I'm like, that's it weird. Not. It looks. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I don't. I just... How okay. you choose to use it is up to you, but it is not. <laughs> I'm going to make sure that Alabama doesn't get his hands on it. No. <laughs> All right. Just really want to open the door now. <laughs> All right, I open the door. Sure. Mm -hmm. A fresh breeze blows <gasps> Outdoors. In. You see daylight. Whoa. Not very much. Way up high. Let me read the description. I'm a run. Just to myself. Oh. What? I'm going to frolic. This enormous chamber is 30 feet tall with mighty buttressing and a vaulted ceiling. Parts of the ceiling and walls have collapsed and raw earth has spilled down from a gaping hole in the east wall. Crushed beneath a fallen block in the center of the room are humanoid remains. Elsewhere around the floor are the chewed and decayed corpses of baboons. Through a hole in the ceiling to the east, barely three feet wide, daylight and fresh air filters in. Above and through this gap, you can hear the sound of baboons chittering and squawking and making their terrible ruckus. They jump around the hole and they scream in agitation. And as they do, dirt slides down the banks and rocks in the walls shift slightly. The room is wide and expansive. Figures lay dead in the distance. And there you are. We got to inspect all the bodies in case they're Arizona. Wow. I mean, not untrue. Just sad. 
Gotta pull the band-aid off sometimes. Nope. I refuse to believe any of these could potentially possibly be my sweet Arizona. What color is her hair, just so I know? It's been a while. (laughs) (laughs) She may have dyed it once or twice. The room is so big that your continual flame torches don't even cast a light on the entire space. But because of the hole on the eastern side, which is directly in front of you, you can see up there is you can see and make out a archway that leads to a door that angles to the northeast. I'm going to stand and breathe in the fresh air for a while. Told you the wind was from air. (laughs) Air. I was right. Yeah. And the air genasi didn't even figure that out. Go figure. (laughs) Everyone else just takes a moment and looks at each other. It's like, that's Penny for you. That's Penny. That's Penny. I should have got my own spinoff sitcom. (laughs) (laughs) No? You move into the room trepidatiously, slowly, as you have the entire time, checking for traps and looking for things, and everyone make a perception check. I don't perceive nothing. So, how did we do Alabama? 19. Wow. Alabama, you're in the lead. It's very clear. You have walked out front. first. You are doubtlessly on the lookout for Arizona. Yes. Super important. How did everybody else do? Let me just ask, did you beat a 10? Really? 11. (laughs) How did you do there, Maryland Jane? Six. How did you do there, Penny? Seven. How did you do there, Florida man? I got a one, and so I would like to describe what happened. Please. All right, I was underneath the air hole with the baboons, and a baboon like jumps on the edge, (gasps) and I get like a full face of dirt in my eyes, and I'm spending my time like trying to clean out my eyes from the dirt that has fallen into them. You may have a blue gem. Thank you. I am also saying how much pain I am in loudly. And this is, of course, distracted everybody except for Alabama, who's so intent on searching for Arizona. That perception check, you know several things. There are fresh bodies in this room that those people died very recently. None of them are Arizona that you can see, but who knows if any of them are truly completely buried. So is Arizona buried in all this rubble? You don't know, but the bodies you can see are not Arizona. They do seem to be adventurers, archaeologists, anthropologists, former prisoners who are sent here as guides and erstwhile brothers of 'er ne'er-do-wells. So in other words, this could easily have been your adventuring party. All of them are dead. Five or six of them in total that you can see. Okay. Do you believe that the doors to the northeast there are a little open? But I need you to make one subsequent perception check. None of the rest, you get nothing. Do I see anything? Because I beat the 10. No. I asked if you beat a 10. 11 was still not enough. You rolled a six. I didn't even think you beat a 10. So it's fine. You get nothing. Okay. (laughs) Sure. You get a face full of dirt too. (laughs) (laughs) Sure. Blah. No. Why didn't How'd you roll you your big die? Because I wanted to try. I, don't, I got nat one. So. Big die. You are, so what happened is, is you've got. Advantage. You're so focused on looking at the bodies and making sure that none of them are your beloved Arizona, which is true to character, right? Mm-hmm. So as a result, you get a blue gem as well. Yay. Thank you. That you don't notice the, the shifting of sand and a giant coiled serpent oh no bursts out leaping towards alabama and texas because it has two heads Uh oh it is a giant looming boa constrictor with two heads jaws wide fangs out to grasp and pull you in and swallow you whole i would like to tame it as my pet Good luck. This isn't, wow. Hey, I've tamed a lot of animals when I should not have been able to. Make a oh, that's nature fair. check. <laughs> Actually, sorry. Make all of you make your history Olman checks for those who have the Olman knowledge. I have both history and nature. Yeah. Which would you rather I do? They're both yes. equal. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, I did itch. good. Oh, I don't think I'm supposed to roll anyways. I don't have history. Well, you have knowledge about the Olman people. Uh, so you're rolling that with, per, with. So did you beat a 10? No. Oh, yes. So oh, yeah. you don't know anything at all. I'm distracted. 
Maryland Jane. Florida Man is not even rolling because Florida Man only understands any of this because of a helmet. <laughs> Good old bucket. It's like a the bucket of Babel. Um, yep. So who beat a uh, 15? Whoa, we all did. three of you. Who beat a 20? We, I all did. three of you. No, sorry, I didn't beat Oh, that. you. What did you do? Sneak. 19. 19. So it's not enough. You don't know enough. No, I'm just kidding. No. You're, just, you're gonna pull that out again. <laughs> you had an eleven. You Calm have, down. You eleven dirt. is beating a ten. Calm it was down. It's just a question. It's it was okay. to get the layers. It was layers. just to determine. It's okay. Before I wasn't just trying did. to. Yeah. So we'll hug it out later. <laughs> <laughs> the three of you know that this is none other than. <laughs> Good luck saying that one. Amphis Baina, a two-headed giant constrictor local to these parts and is historically worshipped by the Olman people as a, the devourer, the carrier of things to Zotzalaha. This is not an intelligent, sentient animal like... The ogre we fought, or... Like our dearly departed hermit crab friend. That's sad. I bet you the snake did it. Sounds like a snake thing to do. Right, so always got to be snakes. <laughs> <gasps> There's a snake in my, my boat. boat. Kalkakila. Oh, that's, yeah. the, that's the crab that passed away. He Not like Kalkakila. You all are surprised, mm -hmm. and you will all roll initiative. This concludes this episode of Tavern Tales, a curated Dungeons & Dragons 5e game set in the Tales of the Yawning Portal Adventure module by Wizards of the Coast. Our intro and outro music is the song Tavern Tales by the Bad Billy Band. You can find out more about the Bad Billy Band on iTunes or at www.badbillyband.com or follow them on Twitter at Bad Billy Band. Thanks for listening. Please feel free to leave us a review on iTunes or find us on Twitter at Tavern underscore Tales. We'll be back next week with more of the adventure.